Welcome to this video. In this video, we will prove this trigonometric identity um, equation. Left hand side equals right hand side. Let's see how to do it. The first thing you will notice is the right hand side has sine and cos, and left has sine, cos, cot, and tan. So what I'm going to do, my suggestion you do typically for these kind of problems is replace cot theta by sine and cos. Okay. What is that? So cot theta is given by sine th cos theta by sine theta. Tan theta is given by sine theta by cos theta. Okay. So left hand side is given by sine theta divided by one minus cos theta by sine theta. So replacing cot by cos and sine plus cos theta divided by one minus sine theta by cos theta. Now this can be written as sine theta divided by, if you simplify the denominator, you have sine theta minus cos theta by sine theta. So this whole thing is denominator plus cos theta divided by cos theta minus sine theta by cos theta. So that is the denominator. Okay. Now, simplify this further, you get, so the sine theta, so this sine theta goes to the numerator, and that when multiplied by other sine theta, which is here, you get sine square theta. Okay. So that will be sine square theta divided by sine theta minus cos theta plus Similarly here, cos squared theta divided by cos theta minus sine theta. So, which if I rewrite here, new board, so that will be sine squared theta by sine theta minus cos theta plus cos squared theta by cos theta minus sine theta. Okay. Now look at the denominator. It is sine theta minus cos theta and cos theta minus sine theta. So the only difference is the sine. So what I'm going to do is I will multiply the second term, both numerator and denominator by minus one. Okay. Why do I do that? So that the denominator becomes the same. If I do that, what do I get? I get sine square theta divided by sine theta minus cos theta. Now this term doesn't change. But the second term, the numerator becomes minus cos square theta. Denominator, sine changes. So instead of cos theta minus sine theta, we have now sine theta minus cos theta. So now kind of denominators are the same, okay? So this becomes same as sine square theta minus cos square theta divided by sine theta minus cos theta. Now this sine square theta minus cos square theta is like a square minus b square, which can be expanded as a plus b minus a minus b. In this case, it is sine theta plus cos theta. So that is the a plus b part. And then you have sine theta minus cos theta. That is the a minus b part. And denominator, we just write what we have, which is sine theta minus cos theta. As you can see, the denominator they have as is cosine theta minus cos theta, and the numerator also we have sine theta minus cos theta. So these two will get cancelled, and we are left with sine theta plus cos theta. Okay, what is sine theta plus cos theta? Is the right hand side, which is what we wanted. So that is right hand side, because we started with left hand side in the previous board and we ended up showing that left hand side is same as right hand side we can say hence root so hopefully you saw how these kind of problems can be solved my suggestion is whenever you have something like a cot and a tan you replace with sine and cos i mean if if other terms are sine and cos and then you simplify and you should be able to solve these kind of problems okay in the future videos, we'll solve different problems. Till then, bye. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon. You will get further notifications when we publish a new video.